Well, it's time to start another semester here on the Pioneer sideline. While we took a break here on the sideline, the basketball teams didn't, and they had some big conference games over the break. Today on the sideline, we'll be talking about the action the basketball teams have had, and we'll sit down with a couple of our guys to talk about where the basketball teams are at at this point in the season. We will also be talking about national and local sports, and we'll finish up with the case of the week. So join me here on the Pioneer sideline. <laughs> Welcome to the Pioneer Silent. I'm your host, Kyle Anthony. The Point Park women's basketball team has had the best team at Point Park Sports the past couple years, and they're trying to keep the, the good times going. So I'm going to inbound the ball to Blaine King so we can find out how the basketball team is doing. Since I last reported on the women's basketball team here on the Pioneer Silent, the women's team seemed to have found their niche over the time span of a month. The women played 12 games, racking up 11 wins and losing just one of those games, giving them a 16-2 overall record. Four of those games were against KIC opponents. The Pioneers won three out of four of those games, with all, the only loss coming against Asbury by a score of 66-64. to 64. Majority of the Pioneers' 11 wins were over the month were won handily by the women, with eight of those games being won by double digits. Guard Kelly Johnson contributions to the offensive side of the ball has been huge for the uh, Point Park. Offensively, the women team has been consistent all year. Ball movement by the team has been key as they have racked up 299 assists with Kelly Johnson having a team high 78 of those assists. Speaking of Johnson, she is leading the team by averaging 15.5 points a game, which has also been huge for the Pioneers with the absence of some Sam Weir. Defensively, Pioneers have made major strides since the start of the season. They are holding opponents to less than 70 points a game and forcing many turnovers in steal. The bench has also played a key point for the Pioneers. Names like Natasha Moss, Selena DiPietro, and Carly Corcoran have came up off the bench and provided huge sparks for the Pioneers. The women basketball team now looks forward to playing many KIAC opponents over the next few weeks as they look to not only wrap up the division, but also look to gain home court advantage for the KIAC tournament. Well, Blaine, who stepped up their play over break? Well, Kyle, I just mentioned her, Kelly Johnson. She's really stepped up her game. She's averaging 15.5 a game, uh, close to about four assists a game for the Pioneers. She's been huge this season, uh, and she's been really heating up as of lately. Now, Blaine, on the other side of that, what players need to step their game up? Well, you know, you can always look for players to step up, especially around the guard play. Uh, Alexa Zanakis, she's starting to step her game up. Uh, Kayla Kidio, she's starting to step her game up. And uh, we really could see uh, uh, Carly Force, she, if she steps her game up and provide a, not the kind of force that Sam Weir had, but a little bit, a little more force than she has been given uh, this season, I think this team will be in perfect shape come KIAC tournament time. Thanks, Blaine. The men's basketball team, had a good start to the season, but that has been the story in the past. So to find out how, how the story is going, I'm going to pass the ball to Phil Papour since I can't bump set spike it to you anymore. So take it away, Phil. The Point Park men's basketball team opened winter break with a much needed break from action. The team stumbled through the final week of the fall semester, dropping two of their final three games. The Pioneers entered the break with an overall record of eight and four. The Pioneers opened the new year in the second half of their season with conference play. In its first game, the Pioneers traveled to Asbury. Asbury currently has an overall record of 14-5, with a KIAC record of 4-1. Needless to say, the team entered the new year the way they finished last year, sluggish. The Pioneers opened the game slowly and quickly found themselves in a 58-34 hole at halftime. Something Point Park has come to rely on from its men's team is the ability to shoot from deep. In this game, however, the team was going cold, 2-19 of 19 from the perimeter. The Pioneers would go on to lose the game 94-71. This game took place Saturday, January 3rd, which meant the Pioneers had to quickly rebound for their next conference opponent, Alice Lloyd, who they played the next day. Alice Lloyd currently has an overall record of 9-11, though they have a conference record of 4-1. The Pioneers started the game much better than the last, leading at halftime 32-29. Neither team shot well in the first half, but it was Alice Lloyd who ended up doing just enough to eventually pull away with a 72-63 win. 
63 points was a season low for the Pioneers, who entered the game ranked second in the NAIA Division II with 93.2 points per game. The Pioneers may have left Kentucky empty-handed, but they found themselves with a chance for redemption on the road against the KIAC preseason favorite, Rio Grande. Point Park once again started out cold and trailed by 19 points late in the first half. That was before Saeed Allen hit a clutch three-pointer that ignited an 8-2 run to end the half. Rio Grande led at the half 53-40. In the second half, the Pioneers outscored Rio Grande 58-43 to secure the incredible 98-96 comeback win. This was Point Park's first conference win. In their fourth straight conference game, the Pioneers faced IU Kokomo at home. The Pioneers got their scoring touch back and blew out IU Kokomo 107-93. In their most recent game, the Pioneers faced off against Penn State Fayette, a game in which they lost 111-97. At this point in the season, Point Park's overall record is 10-7 and, and their conference record is 2-2. Two two. The Pioneers are currently second in the KIAC North Division, trailing IU East who is 4-0 in the conference. Though the Pioneers staggered into the new year, it appears as though they have turned the tides and are looking to finish the season strong. Well, Phil, how big is it for the Pioneers to be around 500 in conference play? Well, to tell you the truth, Kyle, it's, it's really good for the Pioneers to be 500 in conference play just for the reason that they didn't finish the fall semester strong in terms of dropping two of their last three games, and they started really poorly in the conference this spring semester, like I said, losing the first two games to Asbury and Alice Lloyd and losing badly. But for them to bounce back, I really think it was that 19-point comeback against Rio Grande that got them started. So to battle back from being 0-2, in conference to get to 2-2 two and two, I think is definitely going to give them some momentum going the rest of the way and really help them to try and get some more conference wins heading towards the end of the season. Well Phil, who's been the leader or leaders on this Point Park basketball team? Oh, easily it's Jeremy Williams, the point guard. He's definitely the star of the team. He averages about 22 points per game, which is 22nd in the NAIA Division II, and he also averages about uh, 5 or 6 assists per game, which puts him at 5th overall in the nation so he definitely is the leader he's the point guard he mans the ship and he makes sure that everyone is where they need to be and when it comes down to the clutch moments he's the one that always steps up thanks phil we're going to take a break here on the sideline but when we return i'm going to sit down with blaine king and phil papour again to talk about the second half of the season <laughs> 